What is up guys, Gio Snow right here. So in today's video we have some update about the extra recipe jailbreak. So it's now supporting the iPhone 6 and a couple more devices. As you can see, uh, Xerob has uh, pushed an update 15 hours ago on his GitHub for extra recipe jailbreak and it's now supporting the iPhone 6 on iOS 10.2. It also supports iPad mini 3 Wi-Fi on 10.2 and iPad Air 2 again on 10.2. There is also support for the iPhone 6s and 6s plus but only TSMC and on 10.2. So uh, there is also support as I said for the iPhone 7 and 7 plus that's the point of the uh, extra recipe and it supports this device on iOS 10 to 10.1.1. Again there is no support for 10.2 but do not update from 10.2 on iPhone 7. Now in order to, to get the latest update the IPA is still on beta 4 so it doesn't reflect the, uh, the latest changes but in order to, to make use of them on your device for example if you have an iPhone 6 or a 6s and you want to use it on, uh, on there you can download or clone and download from here and if you have a Mac you can compile it yourself or you can of course wait for Luca to compile the, uh, the IPA of the next update and put it online on his website but if you want to do it uh, faster then you can go ahead and download it here. After you download you're going to open it in Xcode it looks like this and you have to fiddle a little bit with the bundle identifier or identifier you need to change anything in here for example instead of Marlowe you can write uh, I don't know jailbreak or something along these lines in order to check the uh, change the identifier and of course select your team this one is a um, is a throwaway team a throwaway Apple ID that I made it's going to create a provisioning profile in here okay so um, as you can see, I got I got an error, and in order to fix the error, I'm going to rename extra recipe with jailbreak 10.2 like this. Now it should uh, generate a profile correctly for my uh, for my um, my device. Okay, so as you can see, it generated a profile, and now you can connect your iPhone to it. For example, I have an iPhone 6. It's not running 10.2. It's running 10.1.1, so it's not supported for the moment. But I can show you how you can side load it. So uh, I have the device in here. I connected the uh, the device. Okay, and it should be shown in here. If it's not, you click in here and select the device. Press this play button. If you, if you did everything correctly, you do not have to modify the code in any way. And um, if you did anything correctly, it's going to build and it's going to add it to your uh, to your screen. It doesn't have any icon as for now. Uh, and it's called extra underscore recipe. I'm going to show you what happens in a couple seconds. So uh, this one is made in Swift apparently and not in Objective-C. That is interesting. Anyways, let's wait for it to to do uh, anything. Okay, it's installing. And it got installed on my device and it starts automatically or it waits it awaits for you to confirm the profile so I'm going to move to the device and show you what's going on be right back all right so after you side load it to your device in my case it's an iPhone 6 as I say running 10.1.1 you're going to have it in here extra recipe you open it and according to um, to the instructions you need to wait a couple seconds five seconds then press go you can see it's extra recipe plus Yalu. It still says iPhone 7 Plus up to 10.1, but it's it is supporting the um, the devices listed on GitHub. Now, if I press go, I'm going to get uh, the unsupported error. You can see it says unsupported yet, but that's as I said due to the fact that I'm running 10.1.1 and not 10.2. Again, the iPhone 6 it's only supported on 10.2 currently. Probably. Um, Probably Xerob is going to add support for more devices, but currently it's only 10.2, so you can use it on 10.2. If you're on 10.1.1 and you still want to jailbreak, you can use Yalu 102 or any other fork. Blue Yalu, Yalu Dark, for example, I'm, I created my own version of it, which is Yalu Dark. It's this one here, but if you want to um, if you want to use extra recipe You can go ahead and use it on 10.2. This is actually it guys till the next time Do not forget subscribe to stay updated. We'll keep you updated on anything. Peace out